Hello and welcome to Watch World Cup 2014, the final days. It is, of course, the final episode of this long series we have been doing on our channel. And it is a shame we've come to this moment, but we've got this show to go through. So, hello, I'm Oliver Eaton. And I'm Cole Eaton. And today we've got the uh, last uh, stuff we have to do. To wrap up the whole World Cup, we'll go back to our predictions, what we made for the final and the third place playoff. we we'll talk about the final result. Was it impressive? And we look back right to the beginning. And something else to add on, we give out the awards and, like I said, sum up the whole World Cup. So, uh, Corey, up to the last episode stage, uh, link will be somewhere. We got to the semi-finals, mm -hmm. just after semi-finals, and um, we predicted, of course, the final and the third place final. So, going on now to the third place final, uh, what were your predictions for this one again, Carl? Uh, my prediction was um, Netherlands to win this third place final. And Netherlands was correct, as you can see on the screen, it was a 3-0 victory. Uh, Brazil, it just was not their competition when it came to these last games. Ten goals in just two games. That is bad to concede that much. It's bad to concede three in the World Cup. Big game like this, but 7-1, then 3-0. Mm -hmm. uh, Netherlands, of course, will be happy with third. However, they did do worse than they did last time around. Uh, of course, they came runners-up, but they're going to be happy. Now, I don't really want to relive my prediction for this game because I'm a bit embarrassed about it. Of course, uh, I did think it would go through to penalties and I mm. thought Brazil was going to win it. Well, Brazil still didn't have any Neymar and um, they didn't have Thiago Silva either. Didn't they? I thought they did. No. I know, I know Neymar was on the bench or at least somewhere in the stadium. It did show him a lot. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, the third place playoff, the most pointless game of football, as it's called. Yeah, uh, yeah 3-0 to Netherlands, and that takes us on to the final. Oh yes, yeah, so me bashing the keyboard, as I've just realised, uh, I've pressed the wrong thing on. Yes, of course, the third place final, that was 3-0. The final, Germany versus Argentina. Cara. Yeah. Well, um, it was a Germany vs Argentina, and um, the final result was Germany won, Argentina nil. Yep, of course, a uh, goal coming seven minutes from time, and that was was a Goetze. Goetze with the goal, brilliant mm. game. Uh, right from the beginning, it was just backwards and forwards, and uh, more Argentina pushing forward, I think, uh, towards the first minutes of the game. Then mm -hmm. Germany, of course, doing their lovely uh, play down the right-hand side in what my dad would say the shaded area. And, of course, trying to get the crosses in to get the ball forward. But it was unfortunate that they couldn't get more goals and they had to go to extra time. But uh, the people say it, finals are boring. This one definitely went final, even with the nil-nil draw. And Argentina even scored that um, this and our goal. <laughs> yeah, just that was funny. That Now, I mean... Car have been doing a competition and whoever won the World Cup with their country what they had would win four pound. Corey was Argentina, I was Germany and when that Argentina goal went in, he was cheering like hell. I was near enough crying like hell over four pound and then they said it was offside and it was pretty much the other way around. Until Germany scored and then I was running out of the house cheering. 
Yep. Anyway, uh, do you think Germany did deserve this as a win, Corey? Because, mm, well, they played Britain in the World Cup, and, well, it's their fourth ever World Cup win. Yep. And um, they've nipped a trophy four times now. Little far from my prediction. I did predict three to. Mm. Uh, minus a couple of goals. 1-0 Germany. Uh, yeah, I, I believe Germany did deserve to win the World Cup. They beat in the host 7-1 handsomely. Mm. Argentina, I just don't think we're there. Like they said, it was Germany versus N just Messi. And um, it pretty much got proven that it was that. But uh, yeah, Germany won, Argentina nil, and that is the last ever game we get to do here. Uh, now, don't worry, we are not finished. We have to go through the awards and kind of like go back to the predict, uh, right back to the beginning. But uh, certainly we could go through uh, the final standings. So as you see now, the final standings, of course, Germany are the world champions in first, Argentina second, Netherlands third. And Brazil fourth. Now I went onto the FIFA.com website and actually found the whole list of the standings right down to 30 seconds. So I'll go through them all very quickly. Because uh, you know the top four. Fifth were Colombia. Sixth Belgium. Seventh France. Eighth Costa Rica. Ninth Chile. Tenth Mexico. Uh, pretty good top ten there. I'm sure Costa Rica was absolutely over the moon just getting through the group stage. Uh, and finishing in eighth, brilliant game for them. The only uh, draw they had was, of course, against us, the English. Eleventh was Switzerland, followed by Uruguay, Greece, Algeria, USA in 15th, Nigeria in 16th, uh, Ecuador, Portugal and Croatia, then Bosnia and Herzegovina. I think I got it right there, Herzegovina. Herzegovina. Uh, yeah, they were 20th. They did well for their first ever World Cup. They came 12 places above last. 21st, Cote d'Ivory, or Ivory Coast. 22nd, Italy. 23rd, Spain. 24th, Russia. 25th, Ghana. 26th, uh, as English, England. Uh, 27th, Korea Republic, aka South Korea. 28th, Iran. 29th, Japan. 30th Australia, 31st Honduras, yeah, and uh, 32nd Cameroon, so, of course, from the final standings, you can tell the teams were absolutely going to be shocked with their performances, uh, teams like Portugal, Italy, Spain, um, and Honduras, okay, not Honduras, uh, I'm not going to say England, because I thought there was absolutely crap, no offence. Okay, so yeah, they are the final standards. We're getting through them nice and quickly. Of course, uh, we got the awards what were given out yesterday on the World Cup final to everyone. And we're starting with the Golden Ball, which is the like play of the tournament. And as you saw, and as you see, the unhappy Lionel Messi receiving that trophy. And <laughs> the face, I'm sorry. Of course, this in the World Cup final is bad enough, but <laughs> nothing to go through that embarrassment and just standing there like, yay, I've won something. <laughs> oh man, that photo is ace. Uh, yeah, Golden Ball belongs to him. Uh, we got the Golden Boot to our now at the top five on the table now. Of course, in the fifth place spot was Robin Van Persie. Oh, uh, brilliant goals he had, and he's yeah. had a brilliant, very good tournament. Yeah. Also, John is the guy himself, Lionel Messi, yeah. and then Neymar, of course, there. Then the top two was Thomas Muller, with five goals, and then the star man who was well, the knocked out at the quarterfinals, James Rodriguez. What a guy he is, Corey, what a guy he is. Yeah. And I'm sure he will go on to do brilliantly in uh, hopefully club football and uh, get bigger than the previous is. And of course he does have all six that goals was in all six of his games were yeah. played. So a uh, great record for him. Uh, next is the Golden Glove, which is the best keeper. And I'm sure most people will agree with this. Manuel Neuer. Yeah. Brilliant. And he, I tell you what, he's a lot happier than Messi yeah. while when he received yeah. his award. But yeah, definitely deserved it. The sweeper keeper, uh, pretty much another defender for the team. He was excellent. 
Mm. But don't get me wrong, he was not the only one who was excellent this tournament. Tim Howard for USA, brilliant. Yeah. Whatever the Mexican goalkeeper is, he was excellent. Mm. And um, pretty much every goalkeeper except Joe Hart was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, well done everyone <laughs> for that one. Now, our uh, next award now is the Fair Play Award. Uh, I've seen this with the cleanest football team of them all. Um, I can't actually remember the definition of this one. But uh, I think reading it, it did say uh, the cleanest uh, disciplinary record. Anyway, that belonged to Colombia. And as you can see, I think that's James Rodriguez there, just in case you didn't know who he was. But yeah, uh, fair play award goes to Colombia, as you can see there. The cleanest team, I believe it was. <laughs> Sorry, we'll just skip past it on our message uh, again. Uh, do we have a, Oh yeah, we have the Young Player Award as well. This belongs to the France. I don't know what position he plays. Uh, Puel. Well, have, have I spelled... Is his name Paul? Because I think I spelled it wrong. Anyway, it belongs to Pogba. Uh, I hope that isn't Paul. Because uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's embarrassing if it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, he got the Young Player Award. And yeah, sorry, I've spelled it wrong on the screen. Uh, it is Paul Pogba. And don't don't go laughing at me. You don't make anything, Carl. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is all the awards what we're giving out. Of course, they do have the individual uh, other awards what will be coming up later. Nothing to do with the World Cup, but they are linked to it. See, yeah, Paul Pogba gets the Young Players Award. And of course the winners are Germany, so yeah. definitely deserved it. Now Minkor did make up our own kind of awards, what we want to sort of give up. Uh, first one is what we thought the best player was. Mm. So uh, Corey, what, what player do you think was the best player of the tournament instead of Leonardo Messi? What I think was um, the player who scored every single goal in these matches, and I think that had to go to James Rodriguez for Colombia because he's just been very talented and brilliant and well he deserved it with six goals yeah now uh oh well um there is a lot what really deserve this m award and um uh I, I, I can't really decide to give it to to be honest um Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, I want to congratulate Wayne Rooney for getting his first World Cup goal. Mm. He came out, he wanted to do that, and although England was absolutely sh um, crap, <laughs> um, yeah, he, he's got his first goal, which is brilliant. Mm. Hopefully it'll be his last. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put my award to mm, probably a German keeper newer, mm. only because I think he is completely different from other keepers you could say it's bonkers in a way uh mm. of course he was taking throw-ons and um comes mm. out and sweep a keepers and of course he had a horrible uh tackle kind of uh mm. kung fu kick to the head but still yeah he, he does as uh, the best play well definitely not messy no mm. offense if he uh bothers watching this which will be never next was the best team so this is the team what we enjoyed watching now of course uh, this doesn't mean it could be Germany, it depends what you think. So, Corey, what is your best team award to? Well, um, they're all just being brilliant, but, um, I think man does have big winners, because they beat 7-1 against Brazil, which is brilliant. And, um, they just did brilliant passing and brilliant skills, and crying lots of dummies, to be honest. And, well, Germany deserves it. And they deserve to be the winners of the World Cup. Yeah. And, well, that's what, that's what I think. And they're the first class European team to win it in the South America. Uh, now, I wrote this one down before you made this. Oh my God, I'm black. Decision. Uh, my best team, what I believe, has been a brilliant team. I think Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. They have completely gone beyond expectations. What the heck? Of course, right at the beginning, we heard who was in each group. Costa Rica, Italy, Uruguay and England. Costa Rica, definitely fourth in that group. And I can remember a quote I did say on the Group D video. Costa Rica will be the easy three points for every single team. 
well that how very wrong was I and I think Costa Rica even if they never get any more success again this should be a big success for them to get f as far as that to exceed all expectations just even if they'd gone out the uh, round of 16 they would have done absolutely well to win the group stage and of course to beat Italy and Uruguay and then draw against England that is a brilliant achievement and that's what I think makes them deserve the best team award mm -hmm. but equally yeah Germany they've played brilliantly uh, even Chile teams like Chile have played brilliantly but yeah mine's going to Costa Rica mm -hmm. now uh, we have got a other award but we might miss that out until the end because I want to actually see more stats to see who the actual team was uh, shouldn't have showed up now this award is like a team what shouldn't even bother coming to the World Cup uh, could be absolutely crap or it could be just like really what was the point so uh, what's your shouldn't have showed up team car um, well, no offense to anyone who is a fan from that country but yeah well um, mine has to be Cameroon because well they, they was like um, just terrible and they're fighting against their own players as well yeah well. frustrating for Cameroon of course they yeah. did uh, on the stand sheet they did come 32nd the last yeah. place but uh, three games played three games lost uh, they share the record with Australian Honduras but yeah if you Cameroon just mm -hmm. didn't play well uh, my actual team what I'm saying is Portugal mm -hmm. they absolutely played horribly wrong uh, they did get a how many games they played they did get a win a draw and a lose which sometimes that's good enough to go through but I, I don't think they shouldn't have bothered they didn't play as good as they should have they didn't get the results they wanted Ronaldo thinks he was so good uh, really but it, it was just a quick exit for them and I could easily say Spain and all that but mm -hmm. no I, I say Portugal shouldn't even bother turning up and um it could have been much different. I could have been saying Costa Rica for that one, but uh, that could be the answer to the next one, which is the Dark Horse, which is like the team what was completely exceeded expectations. And I, I'm, I'm just going to get thrown right straight in. Right, yeah. God, I can't speak to that. I'm going to throw it right in there. I, I'm, I'm just picking Costa Rica for all the reasons I gave before. Of course, expected to come last. They didn't come last. They're just an excellent side. And I'm also, I know it's bending the rules, I'm not, I'm also putting Chile there. Mm. Now I can't remember what group they actually came through with. Uh, but yeah, Chile played absolutely well fast. And um, did well to get through the rounds they did go in. So yeah, Costa Rica and Chile are my uh, two teams. Um, well, mine just had to be Costa Rica because of, yeah. it was just a group of their fans. Well, like what you said, um, all other teams will get three points from them, you say, but you were totally wrong. And, um, well, Costa Rica did play brilliantly. And, um, well, um, they didn't they go to penalties on the game? On the Brazil game, yeah. They yeah. did really well to... Didn't they score first against Brazil? Well, that's the achievement in itself, scoring against Brazil. Yeah. And to get to penalties, it's just unlucky when you get to penalties. It's more the uh, better team, what tends to win on penalties. But yep, we both agree in Costa Rica, definitely. Uh, Chile were also expected not to go through, of course they had teams like Spain and Netherlands. But Spain just, just weren't their day, was it? Mm. Okay, best goal award. Now, unfortunately due to copyright and big copyright, uh, we can't show the goals, but we can certainly describe them for you. Uh, Corey, what, what, what goal do you think is the best one? I think um, James Rodriguez, because, um, well, he did a brilliant volley from outside the box, and it was on the, like a turn, wasn't it, from outside the box. He, he put off his chest, then I turned and sh volleyed it with so much power, and the goalkeeper had no chance. That's just a brilliant goal, that one. Well. Yeah, well, I, I think every goal, what you will see on a future video coming up on my channel, uh, the best goals hopefully when the copyrights all lifted and all that but uh, that I agree with you there uh, there was so many goals I could have chosen from like um, Messi's lovely curler mm. against Iran 
and you've also got um, Carlos Rodriguez. But I'm going to throw in the first of the best goals, and pretty much where Spain turned around, Robin Van Persie's mm. lovely diving header. And of course, if you missed that, um, if anyone has Call of Duty Black Ops 2, it was kind of like doing a dolphin dive and then the ball just coming off and bouncing off your head. What a goal! And uh, I think that's probably one of the best goals in the World Cup. Okay, so uh, yeah, I've got some of the newspapers' uh, thoughts on here, uh, like the player. Now, their player of the tournament was Matt Hummels. Uh, best match. Oh yeah, that, that's a get award in itself. What, what do you think the best match was? Um, I think um, has to be that Brazil and Germany. Yep, here. same game on here. Nobody saw it coming. And yeah, pretty right. Now they've rated the best goal as James Rodriguez, yours. Mm. Uh, then Tim Cahill second. I forgot about that. Then Robin Van Persie is in third. Uh, there's a lot on here. The best team performance, uh, Germany vs Brazil. Uh, biggest surprise, Algeria. They actually could play and scored the team goal of the tournament against Korea. Uh, let down of the tournament, they said Joe Hart. Uh, most predictable outcome, England going home early. <laughs> this time very, very early. Pretty good. Uh... There's a lot of uh, different ones. <laughs> Dog ate my homework award, Lewis Suarez. Oh yeah, we completely forgot about that. Mm. Yeah, been th that'll probably go for the dirtiest team to be honest. Um, I should have said dirtiest player. Anyway, th there then. So that's uh, we did say we're coming back to the dirtiest team. So uh, Carl, what what do you think the dirtiest team is? Well, I think this has to be Honduras, cause I'm bad. They're just um, like fouler sort of thing, and um, this made ho horrible tackles, and I think they deserve that award, to be honest. Well, yeah, I, I wrote it down as well for me, Honduras, uh, pretty much Kung Fu kicking everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I know it is an award here, but the dirtiest player, probably Luis Suarez. You can't mm -hmm. bite someone <laughs> at a World Cup as well. Mm -hmm. Third time, if you're hungry, wait until half time, that's all I say. Hmm. Anyway, yep, that's, I think we're going to wrap it up now, uh, we'll have a short, probably two minutes now, just going right back to our predictions, right at the beginning of the whole lot, uh, to see how wrong we very much were. <laughs> oh my god, that messy picture, Corey, we have to delete that, I cannot look at it. <laughs> uh, right, so... About four or five months ago, we started a series of just going through every single group. And, of course, going back to some of the predictions. Group A, Brazil top, Mexico second, Croatia third, Cameroon fourth. We couldn't be much wrong there. Mm. Group B, Spain first. How mm. very wrong we were. Netherlands second, Chile third, Australia fourth. Group C, Colombia first, Greece second, Ivory Coast third, Japan fourth. Group D, Italy first, England. We couldn't have been any more wrong, Cora. Mm. Uh, both teams all went out because you're going Costa, Costa Rica fourth. They have mm. been excellent. Group E, France first, Switzerland second, Ecuador, and then Honduras fourth. Group F, Argentina, then Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, then Nigeria, then Iran. And I think it was Nigeria went through, wasn't it? Mm. As well as I've seen there. Group G, Germany, Portugal, Ghana, USA. Because it was USA, USA what we uh, thought, USA, we predicted last, that came for a second day, I think they played absolutely brilliantly, did USA to say how underrated we yeah. said they were, and then Belgium, Russia, Algeria, South Korea, Algeria, eventually getting through, after such a long wait of trying to get through, and then it came through to the next round oh uh, well some of the score lines we had in the group stage netherlands five spain one then mm. chile two spain nil that's just all in the spain and of course i think my favorite moment marcelo own goal yeah. the first goal of the tournament for brazil and away they did eventually get three one group c nothing really boring it's more the drama between greece and ivory coast how close it was at the end 
Group D, Uruguay losing 3 1 to Costa Rica. Yeah. And again, Costa Rica beating Italy. And it was actually nice England drawing 0 0 against Costa Rica at that point. Uh, group E, we saw some brilliant, brilliant goals from Switzerland. France mm -hmm. played brilliantly as well. Group F, saw Bosnia playing the first World Cup. I thought they played brilliant. Mm -hmm. And then we saw Messi's brilliant goal. Group G saw Portugal just crashing out across losing 4-0 to Germany. And that's pretty much where it all started from the first game. Germany winning 4-0 against Portugal. Mm. Group H, well I don't think was the most entertaining because you've got teams like Belgium and Algeria entertaining and trying to show that they are worthy of trying to get through. Going into the next round of course, Chile were fighting against Brazil. And unfortunately it was penalties what got Brazil through. Colombia just completely wiped out Uruguay and of course that lovely goal. The number one rated goal was scored there. France beat Nigeria which is a shame but I think France played brilliantly. And Germany did struggle against Algeria. And um, I think the conditions did go against them but they were 2-1 winners. And the Netherlands were 2-1 winners on a brilliant comeback against Mexico who also played well. And Costa Rica v Greece, uh, the best two teams either team could have had against each other. Costa Rica pulling it off to go through again on penalties. Argentina v Switzerland was a brilliant game. Two of the good out wide goals scorers. Argentina finished 1 0. Then Belgium v USA was like a proper battle with Belgium coming up in front 2 1. In the next round, of course, Brazil was against Colombia. Brazil showed that they can still play football by winning 2 1 against the Colombians. Germany had a battle in a Europe uh, battle against France and Germany managed to pull it off. Netherlands had a tough game against the Dark Horses Costa Rica mm. but also on penalties they pulled it off. And Belgium had a f proper good chance but Argentina managed to win. Semi-finals will never be forgotten. Germany 7, Brazil 1. Mm. A game what will always be remembered by both sides. That is what put Germany in the final and pretty much in the winning seat. Argentina were lucky to go through on penalties in the other semi-final. Of course, the third place final, Brazil had a lot to prove that they weren't just that rubbish team who just lost 7-1 in their own country. They couldn't pull it off, losing 3-0 to the Netherlands. And Germany and Argentina battered it out. Germany came in front to win the World Cup. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the World Cup finished? Mm. Yes. Between the Blue and World Cup, apparently. Yep, and I cannot wait for wh whoever country has it. I'm guessing it's going to be Russia because no one knows what could happen in the future. May all teams have a brilliant four years qualifying and of course the Euros are coming and so is the African nations and all the other cups what are for the other countries. Good luck to England in whatever games they have coming and try not to cock it up again. And for the final time for this series until four years. Or maybe we might do the Euros, but uh, we'll think about that in the future. I'm Oliver Eaton. And I'm Cole Eaton. Please subscribe and watch more series on our channel, including our new series starting in August the 2nd. Soccer shocker, cow for that. Yeah. Until then, goodbye.